Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2. God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible, for March 18th, 2023. Here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible. With the goal of hearing all of the Bible, by the end of December 2023, of pleasing the Heavenly Father, and increasing our faith. Because the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17 reads, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And the book of John chapter 14 Verse 23 reads, Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Verse 24, He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. Amen. And 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Verse 7 reads, So then, it reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. Hallelujah. And so the words of life that we shall hear today, March 18th, are Psalm 80, the New Testament reading will be from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 1 through verse 26, today in the Amplified. And the Old Testament reading will be from the New Testament, from the Old Testament, the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 1 through chapter 16, verse 50. Hallelujah. Normally when you read the, hear or read the word of the Bible in a year, you will read through the New Testament one time. But we are living in the time of the New Testament, the time of the Holy Spirit indwelling in us and leading and guiding us and telling us things to come. Amen. We have been given by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to Luke 10, 18 and 19. He said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Truly, we are in the age of the New Testament. Our new commandment is to love. Amen. And we are to do the greater works according to the book of John 10.10. Jesus said, you will do the works that I do and even greater. We are those children that are to do and have been empowered by the Word Himself to do those greater works. They are found in His Word. Amen. And now, Psalm 80, and it reads, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, who you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who dwell between the cherubim, shine forth. Bring Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come and save us. Restore us, O God, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in great measure. You have made us a strife to our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. 7. Restore us, O God of hosts, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You have cast out the nations and planted it. 9. You prepared room for it and caused it to take deep root. And it filled the land. 10. The hills were covered with its shadow and the mighty cedars with its bows. She sent out her bows to the sea and her branches to the river. Why have you broken down her hedges so that all who pass by the way pluck her fruit? 13. The boar out of the woods uproots it, and the wild beast of the field devours it. 
14. Return, we beseech you, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made strong for yourself. 16. It is burned with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of man whom you made strong for yourself. Verse 18. Then we will not turn back from you. Revive us, and we will call upon your name. Verse 19 and last. Restore us, O Lord, God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, is every of us hearers, including me, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And now the New Testament reading from continuing today in the book of John with chapter 17, except you will be seeing it in the New Testament reading. But I will be reading from the Amplified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And it reads, When Jesus had spoken these things, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify and exalt and honor and magnify your Son, so that your Son may glorify and extol and honor and magnify you, just as you have granted him power and authority over all flesh, all, mankind, all humankind. Now glorify him so that he may give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life. It means to know, to perceive, recognize, become acquainted with, and understand you, the only true and real God, and likewise to know him, Jesus, as the Christ, the Anointed One, the Messiah, whom you have sent. Verse 4. I have glorified you down here on the earth by completing the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me along with yourself and restore me to such majesty and honor in your presence as I had with you before the world existed. 6. I have manifested your name. I have revealed your very self, your real self, to the people whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have obeyed and kept your word. 7. Now at last they know and understand that all you have given me belongs to you, is really and truly yours. For the uttered word that you gave me I have given them, and they have received and accepted them, and have come to know positively and in reality, to believe with absolute assurance that I came from, that I came forth from your presence, and they have believed and are convinced that you did send me. Verse 9. I am praying for them. I am not praying, requesting for the world, but for those you have given me, for they belong to you. 10. All things that are mine are yours, and all things that are yours belong to me, and I am glorified in through them. They have done me honor. In them my glory is achieved. Verse 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep in your name, in the knowledge of yourself, those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. Verse 12. While I was with them, I kept and preserved them in your name, in the knowledge and worship of you. Those you have given me, I guarded and protected, and not one of them has perished or is lost except the son of perdition, Judas Iscariot, the one who is now doomed to destruction, destined to be lost, that the scripture might be fulfilled. 13. And now I am coming to you. I say these things while I am still in the world, so that my joy may be made full and complete and perfect in them, that they may experience my delight, fulfilled in them, that my enjoyment may be perfected in their own souls, that they may have my gladness within them, filling their hearts. 14. And in that scripture where he said that the scripture may be fulfilled, the scripture is from the Old Testament. And where it is fulfilled, where it, where it was 
spoken of some 400 years before Jesus came was in Psalm 41, verse 9. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are at verse 14. I have given and delivered to them your word, message, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, do not belong to the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you will keep and protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, worldly, belonging to the world, just as I am not of the world. 17. Sanctify them, purify, consecrate, separate them for yourself, make them holy. By the truth, your word is truth. 18. Just as you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And so far, and so for their sake and on their behalf, I sanctify, dedicate, consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified, dedicated, consecrated, made holy in the truth. 20. Neither for these alone do I pray. It is not for their sake only that I make this request, but also for all those who will come to believe in, trust in, cling to, rely on me through their word and teaching. And that would be us, brethren. Amen. Verse 21. They that all may, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe and be convinced that you have sent me. Verse 22, I have given to them the glory and honor which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. 23, I and them, and you and me, in order that they may become one and perfectly united, that the world may know and definitely recognize that you sent me, and that you have loved them even as you have loved me. Verse 24. Father, I declare that they also whom you have entrusted to me as your gift to me may be with me where I am, so that they may see my glory which you have given me, your love gift to me. For you love me before the foundation of the world. Verse 25. O just and righteous God, let me take that again, verse 25. O oh, just and righteous Father, although the world has not known you and has failed to recognize you and has never acknowledged you, I have known you continually, and these men understand and know that you have sent me. Verse 26 and last. I have made your name known to them and revealed your character and your very self. And I will continue to make you known that the love which you have bestowed upon me may be in them, felt in their hearts, and that I myself may be in them. Amen and amen and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ is every hearer. And now, continuing today in the Old Testament, Chapter 15, hallelujah. Chapter 15 of the Old Testament. And it reads, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you have come into the land you are to inhabit, which I am giving to you, and you make an offering by fire to the Lord, a burnt offering or a sacrifice, to fulfill a vow or as a freewill offering or in your appointed feast, to make a sweet aroma to the Lord from the herd or the flock, then he who presents his offering to the Lord shall bring a grain offering of one-tenth of an ephra, a fine flour mixed with one-fourth of a hen of oil and one-fourth of a hen of wine and a drink offering you shall present, you shall prepare with a burnt offering or the sacrifice for each lamb. Or for a ram you shall prepare as a grain offering two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with one 
third of a hen of oil. And as a drink offering, you shall offer one third of a hen of wine and as, as a sweet aroma to the Lord. And when you prepare a young bull as a burnt offering, as a sweet aroma, a sacrifice to fulfill a vow, or as a peace offering to the Lord, then shall be offered with the young bull a grain offering of three tenths of an ephra of fine flour mixed with half a hen of oil. And you shall bring as the drink offering half a hen of wine as an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. Thus it shall be done for each young bull, for each ram, or for each lamb or young goat. According to the number that you prepare, so you shall do with every one according to their number. 13. All who are native-born shall do these things in this manner, in presenting an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. And if a stranger dwells with you, or whoever is among you throughout your generations, and would present an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord, just as you do, so shall he do. One ordinance shall be for your for you of the assembly and for the stranger who dwells with you an ordinance forever throughout your generation as you are so shall the stranger be before the lord one law and one custom shall be for you and for the stranger who dwells with you verse 17 again the lord spoke to moses saying speak to the children of israel and say to them when you come into the land to which i bring you then it will be when you eat of the bread of the land that you shall offer up a heave offering to the Lord. You shall offer up a cake of the first of your ground meal as a heave offering, as a heave offering of the threshing floor. So you shall offer it up. Of the first of your ground meal, you shall give to the Lord a heave offering throughout your generations. 22. If you sin unintentionally and do not observe all these commandments, which the Lord has spoken to Moses, all that the Lord has commanded you by the hand of Moses from the day the Lord gave commandment and onward through your generations, then it will be, if it is unintentionally committed, without the knowledge of the congregation, that the whole congregation shall offer one young bull as a burnt offering as a sweet aroma to the Lord with its grain offering and its drink offerings according to the ordinance and one kid of the goats as a sin offering. So the priest shall make atonement for the whole congregation of the children of Israel and it shall be forgiven them for it was unintentional. They shall bring their offering an offering made by fire to the Lord and their sin offering before the Lord for their unintended sin. It shall be give, forgiven the whole congregation of the children of Israel and the stranger who dwells among them, because all the people did it unintentionally. Verse 27. And if a person sins unintentionally, then he shall bring a female goat in its first year as a sin offering. So the priest shall make atonement for the person who sins unintentionally, when he sins unintentionally before the Lord to make atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. You shall have one law for him, who sins unintentionally for him who is native born among the children of Israel and for the stranger who dwells among them. Verse 30. But the person who does anything presumptuously, whether he is native born or a stranger, that one brings reproach on the Lord and he shall be cut off from among his people. Because he has despised the word of the Lord and has broken his commandment, that person shall be completely cut off. His guilt shall be upon him. Now while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. And those who found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation. They put him under guard because it had not been explained what should be done to him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones outside the camp. So as the Lord commanded Moses, all the congregation brought him outside the camp and stoned him with stones, and he died. Amen. Again, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. Tell them to make tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their generations, and to put a blue thread in the tassels of the corners. And you shall have the tassel that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that you may not follow the harlotry to which your own heart and your own eyes are inclined, and that you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy for your God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Chapter 16. Now Korah, 
the son of Ishar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, with Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, and On, the son of Pilath, sons of Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Moses with some of the children of Israel, two hundred and fifty leaders of the congregation, representatives of the congregation, men of renown. They gathered together against Moses and Aaron and said to them, You take too much upon yourselves, for all the congregation is holy, even every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Why then do you exalt yourselves above the assembly of the Lord? So when Moses heard it, he fell on his face, and he spoke to Korah and all his company, saying, Tomorrow morning the Lord will show who is his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near to him, that one who he chooses he will cause to come near to him. Verse 6. Do this. Take censers, Korah, and all your company. Put fire in them, and put incense in them before the Lord. Tomorrow, and it shall be that the man whom the Lord chooses is the Holy One. You take too much upon yourselves, you sons of Levi. Then Moses said to Korah, Hear now, you sons of Levi. Is it a small thing to you that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel to bring you near to him, to do the work of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation to serve them? And that he has brought you near to him, you and all your brethren, the sons of Levi, with you? And are you seeking the priesthood also? Verse 11. Therefore you and all your company are gathered together against the Lord. And what is Aaron that you complain against him? 12. And Moses sent to call Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab. But they said, We will not come up. 13. Is it a small thing that you have brought us up out of a land flowing with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, that you should keep acting like a prince over us? Moreover, you have not brought us into a land flowing with milk and honey, nor given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Will you put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. Then Moses was very angry and said to the Lord, Do not respect their offering. I have not taken one donkey from them, nor have I hurt one of them. And Moses said to Korah, Tomorrow you and all your company be present before the Lord, you and they as well as Aaron. 17. Let each, of, let each take his censer and put incense in it, and each of you bring his censer before the Lord. 250 censers, both you and Aaron, each with his censer. So each man took his censer, put fire in it, laid incense on it, and stood at the door of the tabernacle of meeting with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to all the congregation. 20. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. Then they fell on their faces and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin and you be angry with all the congregation? So the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the congregation, saying, Get away from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Then the Lord rose and went to Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed them, followed him. And he spoke to the congregation, saying, Depart now from the tents of these wicked men. Touch nothing of theirs, lest you be consumed in all their sins. 20. So they got away from around the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood at the door of their tents with their wives, their sons, and their children. And Moses said, By this you shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own will. 29. If these men die naturally like all men, or if they are visited by the common fate of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. 30. But if the Lord creates a new thing, and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them up, with all that belongs to them, and they go down alive into the pit, then you will understand that these men have rejected the Lord. 31. Now it came to pass, as he finished speaking all these words, that the ground split apart under them, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up with their households and all the men with Korah, with all their goods. So they and all those with them went down alive into the pit, the earth closed over them, and they perished from among the assembly. 34. Then all Israel who were around them fled at their cry, for they said, Least the earth swallow up us up also. 
And a fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense. 36. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Tell Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, to pick up the censers out of the blaze, for they are holy, and scatter the fire some distance away. The censers of these men, who sinned against their own souls, let them be made into hammered plates as a covering for the altar, because they presented them before the Lord. Therefore they are holy, and they shall be assigned to the children of Israel. So Eliezer the priest took the bronze censers which those who were burned up had presented, and they were hammered out as a covering on the altar. Verse 40. To be a memorial to the children of Israel that no outsider who is not a descendant of Aaron should come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he might not become like Korah and his companions, just as the Lord had said to him through Moses. Verse 41. On the next day, all the congregation of the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, saying, You have killed the people of the Lord. Now it happened, when the congregation had gathered against Moses and Aaron, that they turned toward the tabernacle of meeting, and suddenly the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. 43. Then Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of meeting, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Get away from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell on their faces. 46. So Moses said to Aaron, Take a censer and put fire in it from the altar. Put incense on it and take it quickly to the congregation and make atonement for them, for wrath has gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. 47. Then Aaron took it as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the assembly, and already the plague had begun among the people. So he put in the incense and made atonement for the people, and he stood before the dead and the living. So the plague was stopped. 49. Now those who died in the plague were 14,700, besides those who died in the Korah incident. Verse 50 and last for today. So Aaron returned to Moses at the door of the tabernacle of meeting, for the plague had stopped. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us hear us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And now, Psalm 24, and it reads, The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Selah. Verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. Amen. And let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ that this world is yours and all its fullness, and we who dwell here. We thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters, that we, because of your Holy Son, Jesus, may ascend to the hill of you, our Lord, may stand in your holy place, because we have been cleansed by the blood of your Holy Son, Jesus, on the cross, and by his resurrection, O oh Lord, we thank you that our hands are clean in the name of Jesus Christ. If we have in any way sinned against you, Father, aligned ourselves with the world, we are asking forgiveness by the blood of Jesus that our hearts may be pure. That we, we ask forgiveness if we have lifted up our souls to an idol. If we have sworn deceitfully, we ask forgiveness by the blood of your Holy Son, Jesus. Have mercy on us, Father, cleanse us, that we may receive, receive blessing from you, our Lord, and, uh, and re retain our righteousness 
and our righteousness from you, the God of our salvation. Father, we know it does not go away. But we ask forgiveness if we have entered into any sin. We are the generation of Jacob. Those who seek you, O Lord, we are seeking you in your word, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory shall come into our lives and hearts. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, we thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. That Psalm 107, verse 20 reads, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. We thank you, Father, for healing us and delivering us from every sickness and every destructive thing in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And John 15, 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Thank you, Father, for giving us the grace to abide with you and your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name.